Okay. Um, so, direct control, yeah. Direct control is direct way to reduce negative externality from a certain activity is to pass legislation limiting that activity. Yeah. Um, contohnya, uniform emission standard. So, uniform emission standard ni, dia limits on allowable pollution. For example, yeah. Uh, government might force factory and businesses to install maximum achievable control technology. So, the uh, firm perlu keluarkan duit sendiri lah untuk install technology untuk kurangkan pencemaran. What about specific tax? Government will levy tax or charge specifically on the uh, re uh, related good. For example, uh, government place manufacturing excise tax on chlorofluorocarbons CFC, which will deplete the stratospor, uh, stratospheric ozone layer, yeah? protecting the earth from excessive solar ultraviolet radiation. So, kat sini, government put excess tax untuk kurangkan penggunaan CFC. So, a manufacturer must decide whether to pay tax or to expand additional funds to purchase or develop substitutes product. Jadinya, uh, firm tu sama ada dia nak bayar tax ke atau dia nak beli equipment untuk kurangkan pencemaran ataupun produce produk yang kurang uh, pencemaran. Okay. Uh, itu adalah uh, kedua-dua direct control ini dan juga um, tax ini akan increase the cost lah. Bila increase the cost, of course, be, uh, firm will reduce produce um, what about subsidy? Eh? Subsidy, uh, government might give subsidy to the buyer itself. So, reduce the price of the product. Uh, for example, um, contohnya sekarang ni, face mask. Kita perlukan face mask uh, supaya protect kita punya health, supaya kita tidak affected by COVID-19 or coronavirus. Then, government reduce the price of uh, face mask. Okay. Subsidy to the producers. So, contohnya producer yang boleh uh, reduce uh, pollution uh, ataupun uh, dia perlu mem, uh, nak reduce pollution, dia kena, bayi, kena beli teknologi atau beli equipment yang kurangkan pollution kan. Jadi, government bagi subsidi sebab dia ada effort dia nak kurangkan pollution. And then, government provision lah. Contohnya, government bagi vaksin. Macam sekarang ni, uh, masalah... Uh, COVID-19, then government contohnya provide vaccine uh, for free, yeah, to avoid uh, the pandemic, yeah. Right, um, then we go to the market-based approach. Eh, tadi kira stereo, and now market-based approach, and this is for negative externality lah, yeah. So, the idea is to create a market for externality rights. Um, so, before that, kita kena tahu these two uh, what is tragedy of the commons and number two, a market for externality, right? Um, tragedy of the common ni apa ya? Contohnya macam air, river, lakes, oceans and public lands such as uh, parks and streets are all objects of pollution. Yeah? Because the rights to use those resources are held in common by society. Maksudnya dekat sini, udara, lake, street and so on, we do, uh, uh, itu adalah uh, benda yang people think it's not their responsibility, not uh, their responsibility to maintain or to reduce, uh, to, to, to conserve them. Yeah. So, no private individual or institution has monetary incentive to maintain the purity or quality of such resources. Jadi, itu bukan macam specific tanggungjawab untuk sesiapa. Jadi, mereka tidak, tidak cukup kewangan untuk maintain this to be to for, for the quality of these goods yeah so a market for externality rights pula diperlukan lah yeah so government can create a market for externality rights so in this market approach 